Okay, so I thought I'd have another go at um, doing a kingfisher, but this time it's a it's a it's a different uh, kingfisher. He, this is this one's called a uh, a belted uh, kingfisher, um, and he's just I just loved him because of his you know kind of almost like a punk rocker type hairdo, um, and so I thought it'd be really nice to sort of have a go at doing him. Okay, so. Once again, I've kind of done a very rough drawing, um, a very light drawing, not too heavy. Um, and I'm going to start off uh, with the eye. So in terms of colours, just before I do that, uh, ultramarine, uh, burnt sienna. Uh, I've got a little bit of red. I've got my uh, Windsor yellow. And I've also got this lovely colour called uh, shadow violet, which is a da Daniel Smith colour. Um, and it just gives this sort of really sort of lovely sort of purpley uh, colour which sort of then granulates out as well so it's a, it's a beautiful colour to kind of play around with. Okay so let's get, uh, let's get going. So once again I'm going to start off with the eye um, and I'm going to mix up my um, a kind of grey greyish kind of colour using my umber and my ultramarine. I'm going to try once again just to um, make sure that I keep the highlights. So there's quite a lot of highlights in this in this eye. So I'm just going to um, make sure that I don't lose those because I think as long as you kind of get that um, lovely sort of realistic feel with the eye you know the rest of the body uh, with these birds can sort of almost be really really loose and uh, sort of flowing so so that's why I kind of suggest to maybe start with the eye first Okay, so whilst that's wet, I think I'll just drop in a little bit of a sort of blue colour around the bottom. Okay, so that's my eye done for now, uh, and then from now on in, I can just really just work my way out. So once again, you know, I'm really sort of keen to sort of um, use those lovely sort of gestural kind of brush marks. So um, I'm just going to very carefully paint around the eye because he's got this lovely sort of highlight around the eye. And I don't really want to lose that. So this is this lovely um, shadow um, colour by Winzo, uh, Winzo, sorry, Daniel Smith called Shadow Violet. And you can see it's just lo it's a lovely colour. And I'm just sort of flicking that up just with some uh, water and then paint.
So again, like really sort of gestural marks. So the brush is kind of almost a sort of horizontal to the table and I'm just kind of letting it kind of almost kind of dry brushing, sort of dragging it across uh, the paper. You know, in some areas it becomes, it becomes very, very sort of blue as well, so. A little bit too wet so if it's too wet I'm just dabbing some of that off so I'm just going to leave that there for a minute um, and just allow that brush to just really sort of uh, skirt kind of over the paper because I really want to sort of try and get that funky hairstyle of his of horizontal and there's a few bits that I can kind of okay and then whilst it's wet I'm just going to kind of drop in some other colours That lovely hair of his comes all the way down here. Okay, so that's his hair kind of more or less done. So, so I'm just going to bring my palette back over onto that side. Um, do his beak. So again, I'm going to use that lovely shadow violet because it's got this lovely sort of purpley sort of feel to the beak. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in next. Okay, so I'm just going to stop there and um, allow that kind of splashing and everything that I've done to dry. Um, and one of the things that I want to say about the splashing is uh, if, it, if it goes into an area where you don't really want it to, like, um, sorry, I realise it's kind of out of uh, shot, 
Let me just pick that paper up if I bring that down. So I had some splashing up here, which I didn't really want. Um, so what I can do whilst it's still wet, I can just try and kind of lift that up uh, or lift it off, I should say. Um, and what I've also tried to do is try and connect some of the colour of the bird into that kind of splashing and into the background as well as much as I can. Um, because I just think it connects it to uh, its background. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry for now. And um, and again, you know, for as long as it needs. So maybe, uh, um, you know, maybe about sort of an hour or maybe 45 minutes just to kind of let all of that dry off. Um, and then I'll come back in and uh, and do this the next layer. Okay, so that's all nice and dry now, and uh, and I'm ready now to do what hopefully will be the last layer. So once again, I'm going to start off um, with the eye and work my way out from there. Okay. So I'm just rinsing my brush and um, just kind of blending that colour.
Okay, so I think that is now done, and I think if I do any more, it will um, it will start looking a little bit overworked. Um, so yeah, so I'm quite happy with um, with the way that's turned out, and I hope you'll uh, hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, and I hope you have fun uh, doing your birds.